Do you like both? <laughs> A block a week. What should we eat? <laughs> it's so cringy now, nah, man. Nah. Oh my god. This but is our new, this is our new tagline. New Obviously, tagline. you will know who thought of it, okay? Hey, no, it's, yeah, it's me. <laughs> Today it's all about the balls. The balls? What balls? Human balls? The B A L L S. Mm. Basketball, football. Basket what you want, man? No, no. Today we are going to eat beef balls. Beef balls? Mm -hmm. What's so special about these beef balls? So apparently, according to a very good source of ours, mm. this is the best beef balls he's ever eaten. Wow, that's a big word. That's a big word, right? Best, best eh. is a big word. Best is a freaking big word, yes. yeah. Uh, it's Hakka beef balls. Hakka beef balls? Hakka don't make before. Yes. I didn't know that. I never eat before. I thought Hakka so. made yong tau fu. Yeah. Oh, they have yong tau fu. Oh, is it? So, like, if you all know Hakka, a lot of their famous dishes, Hakka yong tau fu, Hakka suan pan zi. Mm. So, they also have them here. Oh. They also have the Hakka sun kue oh. and Hakka beef balls, which is their most famous dish in the uh, hawker or uh, the hawker itself. Oh, I can't wait to try it. Okay, yes. let's go, so, shall we? Yes, let's make our way there. Start rolling already, is it? Yeah, I want to roll and you start eating. I must try first, then I know how to describe the taste. What do you eat? Some pants are because I think I eat a lot already. Eh. It's like, oh, going no more. How is it? The yam taste is legit because some swan pants, right? They are just very um, chewy and very doughy. But this one, and then they got no yam taste. But this one, the yam taste is kao kao one. And it's legit inside. Like, then they got mushroom. And they also have the black fungus. Wow, oh, I love it. It has the heavy, so the little dried prawns. So it adds to the overall fragrance of the sun pants and it complements the very subtle yam taste. Oh, I like this kind. Auntie, you come here eat beef boy, you come here eat some pan. But the ku zhao wei, the very traditional, authentic flavor. Just take the whole thing. Mm, balls, more balls. This is not this sack. Shaggy ball. Hey, don't make the vlog so dirty. <laughs> yam, yam, yam. Got right. Yam, the yam, yam, yam way yam. is quite soft. The yam flavor is quite strong. Yam, yam, yam. Okay, let me try, let's try the soup first, okay? It's super a lot of Chinese celery. Oh, shook. Mm. In fact, the beef tastes very subtle. Ne? It's not very strong, beefy taste. So it's not like those, you know, deep broth kind where you see that it's a bit dark so brown. Not, so it's probably not beef broth. Got a bit of beef taste. So it's because I think they like cook the beef balls inside the broth. So it's just very subtle ne? and it's very ting tan. It's very light. And look at the beef balls. Confirm handmade one. You see the fiber of the beef. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, let's try. Let's try without the chili first. Very firm. Very firm. It's from good. It's from good. I think it's very legit. Like. It's not the bouncy kind. It's more of the firm texture. Sometimes it's a bit too bouncy, they add a bit too much starch and a bit too much flour in the process. Okay, we are. Try with the chili. Ooh. Okay. Mm. The chili is spicy one and also a bit sour. Yeah, lime. Mm. But I still like it without the chili. Because the chili tastes a bit overpowering if you. Um, put too much chili, so you just eat the beef ball by itself to taste the actual sweetness of the beef. Mm. Cause smell, man. <laughs> right, your meal. Do you like balls? <laughs> I love balls. I love balls. Do you like firm balls or? <laughs> I like it hot. 
Yeah. But I got the got the zing inside. Oh, you you add the zing ah? My one got yeah, my one got zing. Zing can swallow one. You never eat. You don't eat new zing. No. The tenants can eat one. But is there? Okay, okay, fine. Okay. So that's why you know that it's really all solid, like beef meat. Yeah, this 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 literally beef ball. Yeah. No flour. Yeah. No flour. I think no flour. I don't think so. so. Yeah, it's, it's just pure beef. It's like you mash beef up, then you then you eat it. Mash means. Means. I feel more mash than means. Means beef up. You try with the chili. This is an excuse to eat one more beef ball. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Got how many? One, two, three. I got six. Ah, yeah, three, three each. Ah, right. fair. Scary. Is that a bit ah? Don't play with your ball. Actually, should I try the noodles? Try noodles. Okay, the noodles a bit dry ah, cause just now we already filmed quite. Let's put some soup. Life hack: put soup in your noodles. <laughs> uh, no, your noodles got chili ah. This one don't have. No, they never ask. They never even ask. So it comes with the fried wonton and a slice of more yam. Sure, oh, eh? it's, like it's like complimentary already, you're still complaining. Compl and they said they give two, four, six, six beef balls, okay? Complimentary already, still must complain. Wow, oh, you're so happy. It's not good. It's not good. I think must put chili. Put chili. Ah. Oh. Yeah, better. Add chili. Hmm. Add chili. I like don't know whether it's called cold already, but it's not really say like super cool. Mm. Like, I mean, like there's definitely better noodles out there, but mm. it's still acceptable. It's like typical Hakka style noodle. What is a typical Hakka style? I mean, the mee kia, right? For Hakka style one, it's a bit different. I mean, if you all don't realize, mm -hmm. like mee kia, usually some mee kia is just round one, a bit thin, thin one. This one a bit thin. This one a bit like. Flat, yeah, but it's flat. a thin flat kind of. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so yeah, I like this kind. And the bath hall enhances it. Oh. Yeah, soup. Mm. Yeah, tahu. Tahu. Okay, try the soup. Ah. Hmm. Totally different. This one is a very sweet vegetable broth. You can totally uh, like, you know? Sometimes when you cook um, steamboat, mm. then you put the vegetable broth, then you keep cooking vegetable inside. Then the broth, the soup become very sweet. Mm. It's those kind of feeling. Which is sweeter? This one, the yong tahu. No, I mean, which is sweeter, you or the soup? Okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this one is the kind of like. I want this. Yeah. The meatball is super soft. They use a nice balance of fats minced into the pork itself. Mm. So you can taste like there's a bit of that oily oily kind of like fatty fatty taste. Mm. But it's not too much. Okay, okay, now we add the chili tea. You see, I always think that chili will cover the natural taste. Don't fucking buy it. Later you try. Tao will never go wrong later, tell me. You try that tao kwan eh? That's tofu la, tao kwan man. Yeah, this is the non-fried oh. tau kwa. Mm. Tau kwa. I mean, I'm going to take the fish for fish cake. Yeah, yeah, this looks nice. Actually, I'm not a fan of fish for, so let me judge it. No, I think this is not the normal yeah. kind. No, I don't like fish for how very flourish. I, this is confirmed now, I see the shape you know already. It's Q1. Fluffy, fluffy. Yeah. Nice. This cube is got a quite a good amount of fish taste. Mm. Like, like, the fishy taste is quite strong. How are you doing for you? Shall we move on to the last one? Sung kueh. You like sung kueh? Mm. I am. Um, uh, what dialect are you? Du teochew. I also teochew. Teochew don't like sung kueh, man. Yeah, but Chinese in real, we always say Oh sun my god, I love sun kueh. I'm a teochew mei. But why got Hakka? So is it like Hakka style? Yes, it's Hakka style. But I don't really know what's the difference between Hakka style sun kueh and teochew style sun kueh. They look like they got more xiang ku. But you see, ah, you take a closer look at the skin of this sun kueh. Like there is little strats inside. So you, maybe, right, it's the same 
skin as the the abacus. Mm. It's the same skin. Got yam taste. So it's like a wrapped up version. Oh, this one, man. Isn't it? Because the ingredients are almost okay, the same. With, the with more of the radish and some a little bit of cabbage. Is it called radish? It's not called radish. I'm pretty sure it's Soon? not called Not radish? Yes. Check. Trust me, it's not I, okay, I've, I've, I've been through this with somebody. Really? It's called Jikama. Jikama? Jikama. Jikama? Jikama is a group shaped root vegetable with peppery brown golden. That with is similar to radish. golden brown skin and a starchy white interior. It's also known as Mexican potato, Mexican water chestnut, Mexican and radish. Chinese turnip. Oh, turnip! Not radish, turnip. Oh, right. turnip. What? I eat the end just now, but not a lot of liao, so I must eat the center. Try, try, try. Continue, continue. Yeah, what then? Else, uh? It's juicy and crunchy. Oh, so. Yeah, I cannot see. Uh, the camera cannot. Continue, continue. Yeah, juicy and crunchy, and then? With a slightly sweet and nutty flavor. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Nice, ah. Mm. Uh. So, oh, as opposed to. Eat the Felicia, center. I'm a side person. Eat the center. No, I'm a side person. You know when I ate a baguette? Is it baguette? Baguette. Baguette. Baguette, yeah. When I eat baguette. Oh, I hate the I'm side. Always the side. The okay, side next time I give you all my side. Same as the skin as the. Samantha. Samantha seed. The mushroom then good. Hey, you see, it's so good until the fly ground coming. Right. Compared to a to a Teochew Sung Kui, right? The traditional Teochew Sung Kui, right? Mm -hmm. it, it packs a lot more flavor than it. Yes, correct. Which I'm quite surprised. Uh. A bit peppery, a bit sweeter. Yeah. Umami also, eh? I don't know where the umami does come from. Eh? Test you again. What is the... What is Sung Kui feeling? Jikama. Jikama. <laughs> Sounds like some Saitama. Jikama. Like some Japanese word. Okay, okay, stop already. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to film you already because the longer I'm holding this camera means the more time you get to eat. No, no, no. You just hold ah. We can come with one time. So what do you think of the food? <laughs> yeah, what is your face there? Like, oh, what do I think of the food? Nice, I, firm balls. I like that it's very authentic. Chewy balls. Stop talking about the balls. I like that it's very authentic. And the flavours are not very strong. It is more on the subtle side. So for those of you who like your um, food to be a little on like noodle, it's a bit more bland as compared to the other beef noodles. Only the sun kueh is salty. The sun kueh, he thinks that it's salty. Yeah, so good. Y'all go and try it. I like it because I think I like the I like stronger flavors. The abacus is a must order. It's a must. Yeah. Order. How we much is it? Um one plate of the abacus is three dollars. And then the sun kueh one piece is two dollars each. That's cheap, that's cheap. Yeah, so just now when you see the whole entire thing, our entire meal mm. is seventeen only. Okay. It's very affordable eh. Thanks for treating me. Mm. We can't tell you all what time to go because mm. we, whatever time you go, so long queue. I think it's a good breakfast choice. It's very, it's um, light enough to mm. start your day with. I like, I like this kind of very authentic the Kuta Wei food. So if you all know of any other such places, you know, do recommend so that we can go and check it out ourselves. Because mm. yeah, this kind of flavor is a bit difficult to find nowadays in Singapore when more and more people they are actually trying to innovate and bring new flavours in well, oh, we're right. slowly losing the authenticity of food itself mm. yeah so it's really very interesting and we have to share so that more people will go and support and more people will eat so we can keep them here longer for the rest of our generation correct <laughs> I, I, know, I, just, I just say correct perfect ending, <laughs> perfect ending. Oh, yeah, the, but the most perfect ending is please remember to like comment and subscribe to our channel Please press the west. <laughs> press the like, it's just below. It's very hard, man. A, a vlog, vlog a week. week. What, what should we eat? Yeah, what should we eat? You shall decide. See you. Bye. Bye bye.